What's going on, folks? I'm John with Chase Baseball, and I am here in New Hampshire. I am at the Delta Dental uh, Stadium for the Fisher Cats. I've seen so much baseball in the last couple of days. Uh, I want to say they're taking on Erie, maybe? I don't remember, but I'll review as soon as I get inside. It's a little windy. We do have some weather coming. I'm hoping that that weather will hold out and we can actually see some baseball. So gates open one hour prior, but uh, I believe that there's like a pavilion bar that's up here that the gates open for five and they allow you to go in. You can see some batting practice if they're doing it, which I haven't heard any cracks. So I'm not even sure if they're doing batting practice today, but we're gonna go in. We're gonna see some double A ball, which we just saw earlier today. Again, this is game number four in two days. I'm smoked, I'm tired. But uh, we're gonna go in here and see what we can get into. Let's go. All right, so he is blocking the actual stadium there. I am up on the concourse, you can see behind me. They are out there taking batting practice. Looks like they're just bunting right now. So uh, in here, I can't tell if I can get down to that seating. Let's find out. Really hoping a ball comes up here. That'd be awesome. All right, so I got the bar behind me, and I am in essentially right field. Show you real fast. And there's one kid that's over here, and uh, I don't know if they've gotten any balls yet, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can snag me a uh, batting practice home run. That would be awesome. I've never caught one on the fly, so we'll see. That'd be uh, pretty awesome. So I'm like a little kid. I'm like so excited. Um, Maybe I'll just give it to the little guy over here. I don't know, we'll see. I don't even know if you can see this in the camera. Wow. All right, so batting practice just ended just a hair before uh, the actual gates open. So some of these guys were launching them. They were launching them on the roof of the bar. They were hitting the face of the bar. So um, I actually didn't get one on the fly, but I did get four of them. So this one's wore out. This one's actually got a pretty clean uh, sweet spot. So I might keep that one for myself. I could probably rub some of that dirt off of there so I'll probably keep that one and then I'm gonna probably give the rest of these away so let's see minor league minor and minor they're all minor leagues so once in a while you'll find major league in there like if a pitcher comes down rehab assignment something like that but anyway so that's pretty awesome so I got these three plus the one I'm gonna keep I'm probably gonna give these three away to some kids I actually got a we got a life flight coming in overhead. But uh, that was actually pretty awesome. I have not been in a ballpark and seen uh, minor league ball uh, batting practice that long before. And again, if you come to New Hampshire to see a Fisher Gas game, you have to come at five o'clock when they open the, uh, the rooftop bar, uh, the brew house, excuse me, um, the brew house in uh, left field because you can literally go right into the stands where I was. And I'll, I'll show you a picture here in a second, but uh, that was that was wild, just chasing after them and stuff like that. Um, There's really no kids up here um, up until the end, so. But yeah, four total. All right, so we got good seating. You got the suites up there on the top. Right field, there's uh, no seating out there in the outfield uh, all the way to the batter's eye. The hotel has some uh, seating over here and uh, over and left. That's where I was catching the home run balls. So that mac and cheese, you can get it with pulled pork uh, on top. There's no additional price. I got pills. I might just have some. <laughs>
Sal's Pizza. It's just better. So I noticed right over here, right behind that little blue section, um, there was a uh, baseball sitting down there and one of the grounds crew guys came over and I was like, hey, can you throw me that ball? He's like, yeah, give me one second. He parked his little buggy and um, I got another ball. Sweet spot is not bad. Good enough for an autograph. Uh, it doesn't look like it's a mud rub ball, so the autograph shouldn't fade, but good luck in the fact that this is my fifth baseball at this ballpark but it's bad luck because look what they just put on the ball field i think we might be in a slight weather delay i looked at the radar it looks like it's going to clear out around 7 30 and we might be able to get this game in tonight i really hope we do i'm going to really hate to have to post all of this information and not have a baseball game in play but we'll see it's starting to sprinkle on me now, um, and you can see the clouds. Let's just hope that we can see some baseball tonight. So the Fisher Kitty Cat thing over here, I don't know what exactly they call it. Five bucks for a wristband, and the kids can play in there the whole game. So as I said before, um, I might get some mac and cheese. So walking around, talking to some different people, I said, if there's one thing in this ballpark that you would recommend is a must have, what would it be food wise? And multiple, I would say, I think it was four or five people. Um, oh, that's a good sign. They just took the tarp off the field. We are untarped. I think we may be a slight delay start, but I'll take a delay over a cancel all day, every day. Anyway, what I was saying before I rudely interrupted myself, um, yeah, so I was told mac and cheese and uh, the young lady that was working the stand told me that the best thing for you to do is get the meat on there. So you have the options of pulled pork, ham, or bacon. There is no extra charge for the meat. I was like, okay, sold. I got pulled pork and I found some barbecue sauce and yeah buddy I still think that this company should sponsor me just saying I'm gonna take a bite and I'll let you know how it is I don't even know if I can explain how excited I am for this mac and cheese here we go <laughs> Oh, that's good. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so the Fisher Cats and Eastern Propane and Oil teamed up to create a contest for children to have their drawing of what uh, first responders means to them uh, on their first responders jersey day, which is today. Uh, this is what is on these jerseys that the Fisher Cats are wearing right now. So these jerseys are being auctioned off. I believe starting bid for all of them is $75. So I might have bid on one. Makes sense to warm up. View from my seat. No net in front of me. That's the way I like it. The Fisher Cats threw up 10 points in one inning. Insane. But we're in a delay, as you can see. Probably going to be canceled. I'm literally getting ready to start doing this video and they turn the lights off. So I'm outside the stadium. Game's over. Um, I don't know <laughs> if uh, my other video was gonna work, it was so loud, and I, again, I don't, I don't wanna get hit for copyright infringement on music. But, uh, so the game was uh, rain shortened. Uh, they ended it in the seventh. Uh, New Hampshire came back, in the last two innings threw up uh, like 10 points, it was insane. Uh, they were just cranking them left and right, home runs, it, it, was, it was a great comeback. But um, anyway, so, the jerseys that I had uh, shown you earlier with all the different pictures and stuff like that, it, it was uh, first responder night and those were uh, actually 
uh, put up for auction and I won one of them and the player signed it. So I just got my jersey. I'll post a picture of it um, later or well, you'll see it here in a second or you might have just seen it. Just depends on how I edit this video. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my videos. I met some really awesome people. Uh, to the veterans that I saw today, thank you guys so much for your service. To the firefighters, thank you so much for always protecting our families and being there uh, to make sure that they're safe. And to our law enforcement officers that are always out there towing the line, protecting us. Thank you, every single one of you. I appreciate everything you all do uh, from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. Thank you guys. And uh, with that being said, oh, don't forget, take your mother, your brother, your dog, your sister, the father, the cat, the dog, the turtle. And don't forget, smash that like button, subscribe, tell your friends. That's it. I'm done. I'm exhausted. Four games, two days. I'm done. I want to go home. I got baseball again tomorrow night, I think. Or Saturday night. I'm not sure. Anyway, peace. I'm out. Literally, totally forgot. Carlos De La Cruz from the Phillies organization. <clears throat> He's an up-and-comer. Um, I don't remember where he is in the prospect list, but I, I definitely know he's going to be working his way up. Um, I think I might have shown a picture of him. He's he's massive. He's 6'8", 210 pounds. He's a very, very tall young man. Um, he was uh, doing really well. I think he got on base like three or four times tonight. But, um, yeah, so I got an autograph ball from him during the uh, rain delay before they canceled. So uh, I'll post that picture here right about – 